Hello everybody, my name is Yu Chin. In this video, I will help you out to understand human eye better. I have prepared um, exercises for you. If you wish to download and print it out, please help yourself to click the link in the description box below. So I guess without further ado, let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. So uh, in your whole chapter one, there is a lot of subtopic. There is a lot of um, organs as well. So I guess um, eye is one of the one of the topic where most of us struggle to especially, especially remember the, the labelings, right? So many of them and it's all around the eye and we have functions as well. So I'll go through it quickly with you uh, to make sure you get an idea of the 2D picture and I'll show you how does it looks like in a 3D picture, okay? So human eye, the sense of your eye, it's called the sense of sight. That's how you see things, right? Sense of sight, okay? And the stimulus of your eyes will be light. Light is the thing that actually stimulate your eye receptors so that you'll be able to see things, okay? So let's get straight into the labeling. So this is what I'll do. I'll cut the eye into half, right? The front part and the back part. So I would like to start with the back part and actually we will have three layers. So we start off with very simple um, um, sequence, which is three layers, okay? There's three layers at the back of the eye. I mean, throughout the whole eye, but we're doing at the back of the eye, so three layers. Sclera, outer layer, choroid, the middle layer, and retina, which is the inner layer, which is the part where uh, you sense light, okay? And we have two spots, yellow spots, which is called the fovea, which is the most sensitive part of your eye. And we have blind spot, which is the least sensitive part of your eye. I should say there is no photoreceptor. That means um, if image falls on blind spot, there will be no image seen or no image form. Okay, and we have optic nerve, the wire to the brain, and um, there you go, eye muscle that's negligible, don't worry about that. So we have three layers, two spots, and one wire. That's it, we're done with the back part. Okay, right, let's move to the center. So there's this jelly at the center of your eye, which is called the vitreous humor. Okay, be aware of your spelling, vitreous humor. Okay, then move on to the front part, okay? Starting from the outer to the inner. I know it's very messy and you know, there's a lot of layers. Please go through this with me. I'll go through uh, from the front uh, to in, to, to inwards, okay? So let's start off with the outermost layer, which is called the conjunctiva. But in fact, the conjunctiva is actually just the top part here and the lower part here, okay? Right, which is at the white part of your eyeball, right? Above the, the black color dot, below the black color dot. Okay, that's called conjunctiva. Right, move on to cornea, which is the first layer, the front layer of your eye, okay? Um, and then into this empty area, which is filled with fluid or liquid, it's called the acus humor. It's a jelly jelly like that. Okay, transparent. Right, then down into your... Um, Pupil, which is the hole where it allows light to enter, and then the iris, which is as Asian, we are in brown or dark brown or black in color with our iris, okay? That controls the size of the pupil, open or closed, or bigger or smaller. Okay, then moving, moving into your eye lens, okay? Eye lens are hold in place by suspensory ligament, which is like a clip, okay, to hold them in place. And ciliary body is like a muscle, okay, which is right here. Uh, that function to actually uh, control your eye lens as well, together with suspensory ligament. We'll get into the function later on. All right, there you go. That's it. That's the that's the way usually how we remember. So break it down into two parts. The back part you settle the back part already, then you move to the front part, right? Don't struggle to like memorize everything one shot. So cut into half. Um, go for the behind part. When you're done with the behind part, repeat to yourself and go to the front part, okay? From the inner to the, um, sorry, from the outer to the inner part of the eye. Yeah? All right. 
So let's get into the 3D model of the eye. So let's look around of what we have. Okay, right. So let's start off with the three layers that we were talking about. So we have the first layer, which is called the sclera, second layer, which is uh, choroid, and the third layer, which is called the retina. All right, as easy as that. And remember, we have two spots behind. So we have the um, yellow spots, the most sensitive part of the eye, and we have blind spot, the least sensitive part of the eye. That is also the beginning of the uh optic nerve actually do you realize that yeah saw that okay so hence there's no photoreceptors there uh, and that's also the beginning of uh, nerves that will transmit impulses to your brain hence it's also called the blind spot because it's not sensitive to light yeah okay there you go then we have optic nerve so three layers two spots and one optic nerve okay then of course the center part we have the Vitreous humor, which is the jelly, la, nothing much. Okay, uh, then let's go to the front part of the eye. So we have cornea, obviously the first layer. Remember, we'll start with the outer layer all the way into the inner layer. Okay, so cornea, if you could, uh, if you could peep through the gap, uh, you see that? Uh, after the cornea, that will be the acus humor, right? Uh, which is unfortunately unable to label that for you here. It is right inside, right after the cornea. Okay, there you go. So let's put that away. All right, then that will be your pupil, the black color hole that allows light to enter your eye through this hole. Okay, and we have the iris, which is to control the size of the pupil iris okay uh, maybe let's take a look from the other part okay let's hide the vitreous humor so this is your eye lens right after your pupil it will be your eye lens and this round circle that you're looking at this is your ciliary body or we call it as ciliary muscles yeah and this uh, tiny little fibers that you're looking at and in blue color that is also what we call a suspensory ligament suspensory ligament, although it's labeled here as zonular fiber right right on top there okay uh, but we in our syllabus call suspensory ligament that's actually to hold um, the lens in position okay there you go um what else i guess pretty much that's what we need to remember in our syllabus okay no problem. I hope you get a better idea of the, the view of the eye and all the layers and from the front all the way to the back. Okay, cool. So let's get back to our um, material. Right. So functions that I roughly mentioned to you already just now. Okay, maybe we can take a quick look. So sclera is to actually protect and maintain the shape of the eyeball which is the first layer, which is the white layer that you're, you are looking at now, right? Uh, choroid is the second layer which consists of blood vessels. It is actually to supply nutrients and um, oxygen to the eye, okay? And retina is the sensitive part of your eye or also the receptors of your eye, which is to detect light. and Then it will transfer impulses to the brain, okay? Right. Uh, and also retina has two very special type of cells which is called the cone cell which is to see color and rod cell to see uh, in black and white or in dim light there's two types cone for color remember okay rod for black and white okay so cornea the first layer of your eye that's to uh, refract light onto the retina okay conjunctiva which is the the around it okay that's to protect the sclera iris control the size of the pupil remember that one i show you pupil is the center part that uh to allow light enter the eye okay so eye lens like like all our lenses that we have like spectacles that we wear that's to refract and focus this light to form sharp image on the retina okay so, uh, ciliary body uh, that's to contract and relax the thickness of the island. So the ciliary body is the round thing that I showed you just now. Okay. And suspensory ligament are all the fibers I showed you just now. Okay. Still hold the eye lens in position. 
Right, acres humor, the jelly, uh, which is right after the cornea, acres humor. Uh, that's to maintain the shape, also helps to focus the image okay, to the eye. And vitreous humor, which is the bigger jelly at the center of the eye, which makes up the almost a lot of the eyeball. Okay, that's called vitreous humor. That's to focus image also and to maintain the shape. So very similar in function. Okay, yellow spot is the most sensitive part. Uh, of the of the eye okay and blind spot is the part where not sensitive to light because there's no photoreceptors okay and optic nerve that's your wire huh, to uh, send impulses to the brain carry nerve impulses to the brain okay all good all right uh, of course this uh, actually takes time to takes time to memorize or to get into your head so probably have to go through a few times to make sure you know um, all the functions properly which is in your textbook anyways okay right so i was mentioning just now rod cell um, it's um just to get you to look at the picture a bit rod cell is the longer one that's quite a, called rod cell cone cell looks like a um like a ice cream cone okay so it's called cone cell so remember cone cell for color yeah rod cell for black and white that's it all right no problem. Okay, so uh, mechanism of sight, which is how light enter your eye. Okay, or it's more like uh, what we say, like um, the journey of the light. It's like from the outside of your eye all the way in to your retina. So that's like a sequence. That's like a journey of it. It's called mechanism of light or mechanism of sight. Okay, so light from object, okay, uh, is reflected. Right, from the object when light is on or when there is light, uh, the light is being reflected by the object to your eye. So the first, which is your cornea, to acus humor, which is the jelly after cornea, to pupil, the black color hole, eye lens, to the bigger jelly, to the retina, and to the nerve, to your brain. That's it. Easy. Maybe I could quickly show you again how it works. Okay, so let's probably travel through the eye as a uh, light wave or as light okay so this is a sequence so starting off with um let me go nearer okay so starting off with cornea okay we're at cornea now right so right after cornea okay it's it's very thin so okay, okay right oh right now we are in the Acus humor. Okay, then look at this black hole here. This is your pupil, right? Iris is around it. So pupil go into it. I think we're in eye lens now. Okay, maybe let's get through it and take a look again. Yeah, there you go. We were at eye lens just now. All right, and go all the way to retina. And uh, retina will go all the way to optic nerve. Okay. Okay, we're right at optic nerve now. You get you get the idea, right, of how light travel. Okay, so that's pretty much like that. So quickly we look through the sequence again. Hopefully you get a better idea. So cornea to acus humor, which is the um jelly or the fluid right after cornea, to black hole pupil, to eye lens, to the bigger jelly, and then to retina, which I show you and uh into the optic nerve to the brain so this sequence is very important please make sure you remember that okay cool right the next thing to go to it's called optical illusion you know sometimes it's not the problem of your eye it's actually sometimes the problem of your brain that is not interpreting correctly of what you see like it's an argument between your eye and your brain your eye says like that lah, what i see is like that lah. then your brain says no i don't think so so when this happened, we call it as optical illusion. So optical illusion uh, occurs when we see what we see is different from the actual situation. Okay, this occur because what we see it's not only depend on our eye, but also on how our brain interpret what the eyes sees. Okay, so no problem. Usually the image form is accurate, but sometimes brain got problem okay so brain got problem couldn't translate or couldn't interpret correctly so i have examples for you here 
But if you're interested for more, go ahead and Google Optical Illusion. There's so many of them for you to test out your eye and make your eye and brain argue. If you want to see that happen, go ahead and Google and try out different tests, different type of tests, and uh, let your eye and brain uh, argue each other. Okay, so for example, A and B, C and D, it looks like A and B is longer, but actually not actually the same length because of the arrow. It makes you feel like they are different. Okay, and same goes to this. E and F should be straight in line, but if you concentrate at the center red dot, it looks like they are bending. Optical illusion due to the lines. Okay, all right. Last we have this. Looks like there is um curved line in between, but that's actually not. It's just how the straight lines are being arranged. Okay, that makes it looks like there is a curved line. Right. There you go. Okay, the next part will be your vision defect. So we have three defects. Lah, huh? We have short sightedness, we have long sightedness, we have astigmatism. So short sightedness means what means um you can see things that are near, but you couldn't see things that are far. Okay, so distance object blur near okay. So lens too thick, eyeball too long. That could be the reason. So remember this. When we say short sightedness, we go opposite. Yeah? Short sightedness, lens too thick, eyeball too long. You get what I mean, right? Short, short sight, short sight, short sight, short sightedness, eyeball too long, and lens too thick. Is that all right? Okay, so that's usually how we remember. So what happened is when lens too thick or eyeball too long, the image actually forms too early we say before the retina too early yeah or when eyeball is a bit too long oblong so it forms too early so how do we solve we wear spectacles with concave lens which is most of us who wear spectacles now your lens uh, should be concave lens that actually opens up the light ray and imagine like it's shooting it further when they open up Okay, shooting it further to touch the point behind. Yeah, okay. So the function of the concave lens is actually to brought the image further. Okay, no problem. There you go. So what you have to remember is uh, what happened, the condition, which is what you can see and what you cannot, right? And then also the, the causes, which is too thick and too long, and what type of correction you must have. To, to wear as spectacles. Okay, next one, long sightedness. So long sightedness, opposite obviously, means you can see far things clearly, but you couldn't see near things. Okay, no problem. Right, that's the reason. Okay, too thin, too short. So as I mentioned, we go opposite long sightedness, then it will be eye lens too thin and uh, eyeball too short. Okay, no problem, that will be opposite. Okay, so what happened is, it goes over though, like over the eyeball. It forms over the eyeball. So hence, this is what we write, after the retina. So you have to bring it nearer, right? So when you have to bring it nearer, we wear convex lens, which is maybe your grandma, grandpa, maybe your parents. You know, sometimes uh, when they see, when they read things, they have to push it far away. Right? Uh, okay, uh, okay. Right, read newspaper, okay. You know, when they do this, uh, that's because when it's too near to them, right, it forms over their eyeball. Couldn't see, they have to push it away. Unless they wear the, the correct spectacles, then uh, they can see clearly, right? So the, the reason of the convex lens, or the purpose of the convex lens, is to close it up. Just now was opening up the light ray, now it's like to converge, okay? To, to close it up. So it could hit the retina at the right spot. Okay, yeah, there you go. That's basically what are the two lenses for, right? And the last one will be astigmatism. Astigmatism means you will see a lot of uh, reflection of light, uh, a lot very bright lights, or like there's a ring of light around the light bulb or the light source. Well, the reason of that is because your cornea is uneven. Remember cornea, the first layer of your eye, it's uneven. 
So when it's uneven, right, the refraction also uneven, hence it becomes multiple um, image form. So very blur image. Okay, so image form uh, not evenly before the retina. So usually what we do is we wear cylindrical lens. So this is how it looks like, cylindrical lens. So pretty much that's like a, not very difficult, like a summary to memorize uh, everything in a box, very convenient. So please make sure you go through that. Okay, and how to wear the correct lenses. Okay, then I guess that's pretty much fine. Next one will be how to protect your eyesight. Uh, very general stuff. So take a look if you want. Pause the video. Very straightforward. So um, that's it for the eye section uh, of your chapter one. Okay, let's get into some exercises to uh, to see if we understand about the topic today. Okay, so labelings, I guess uh, I'm going to leave that to you because you need to figure out your labelling properly. Make sure you remember all of them and then you shall fill up um, the labelings for yourself. So I'm going to leave that to you. Okay, so next one, I think we will start off with this. Let's draw lines to the correct answer. Okay, so iris, what's iris? Iris the the color part of your eye has to control the size of the pupil. Very straightforward. Ciliary muscle. Okay. Ciliary muscles are to, oh, to control the thickness of the lens. The other one is called suspensory ligament. Suspensory ligament is to hold the lens. Yeah. Next one. Choroid. Choroid is to the second layer of the eye, remember, to supply oxygen and nutrient to the eye. Okay. And uh, conjunctiva, which is the the the, the part white on the white color part and around the cornea, that's actually to protect the sclera as well as to protect the cornea. So in this case, we will go for this. Okay. All right. Question C. On the retina, there are two dots known as the blind and the yellow spots. So what are the difference? So very straightforward. Yellow means the most sensitive. Blind means not sensitive. At least remember the story. Be able to form sentences. Yeah. Yellow spot is the most sensitive part area towards light because it contains a lot of receptors where blind spot is the area without any light receptor. Okay, so you couldn't see anything on it if image form on blind spot. Right? Question D. Two types of photoreceptor found in retina. Remember the color one? C. Cone cells. C for color. Okay, and rod cells for black and white or low light intensity. Very straightforward. Okay, number two, this is optical illusion, right? Question, do A, B, and C, D parallel? Means are they like straight and same length? So Farid believes that both are parallel. But Azam's like, hmm, I don't think so. So how do we prove that they're actually indeed the same length or they are parallel to each other? Well, the best way is to measure the distance between two of them. That means that you take your ruler and measure here to here, measure here to here, measure here to here. If all of them are the same length or same um, distance apart, means both of them straight uh, and parallel, uh, uh, parallel to each other. If it's curving, uh, if it's curving, uh, then the distance will be different, right? Make sense? So this is a question a bit tricky because it's thinking question or we call like k-buck question we have to use your basic understanding understanding to to answer right two parallel lines have the same distance ah huh? so measure a c b d line if distance are the same two lines parallel okay this is like stating the steps that you're going to prove so it looks uh, non-parallel due to um, your eye and your brain is arguing uh, like hey no la, I think it's straight uh, then your brain says no I don't think so it's curved then your eye says no it's straight obviously so yeah they will argue for the rest of their life okay right number three Amira has vision problem she met optometrist diagram below shows the conversation okay your eye cornea uneven keyword ladies and gentlemen very straightforward it's actually not very difficult as you think so if you remember keywords, or if you remember important part of that particular topic, you probably can see, tr see through it and you can actually know what you need to answer. But now the problem is to, to you know, form sentences, which you have to work towards that. Okay, so cornea and even, thing keyword comes out already. Okay, so what suitable treatment? So 
cornea and even it has to be astigmatism remember okay so astigmatism the correction needs to where so see your answer is here astigmatism touching one mark and cylindrical lens touching two marks this is how you get your answer correct okay no problem is that all right now um go ahead and download this if you need to uh, just to get yourself to write on the papers all right um, I hope this video helped and uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you would like to share with your friends please share with your friends and I guess uh, I will see you in the next video right bye guys